But there were, was other big news, Rob, in the NBA. De'Aaron Fox, the star point guard for the Sacramento Kings, who had an absolute breakout year. He was named Clutch Player of the Year. It's the inauguration of that award. Uh, so he he was the first one to win it. And um, play has played great in this series with the uh, Golden State Warriors. It's knotted at 2-2. And, of course, yesterday in that thrilling game, he scored 38 points, Rob. Uh, But the news came down this afternoon that he fractured the tip of his finger, uh, of one of the fingers on his shooting hand. Uh, He's hopeful for game five, which is Wednesday. And if he plays, doctors have said he'd have to play with some type of covering uh, or or Mm. splint. I don't know if it'll be a full splint, but some type of covering on his finger, uh, protective covering. Now, Rob, let me say this. Uh, Kobe Bryant, you might remember, played. He had fractured his finger in two places, uh, right near the tip as well. And uh, he played through it, didn't get surgery, and ended up winning his fifth and final championship that year with the Lakers. So it can be done, uh, but it's still, you don't want to minimize that this is a serious injury and certainly benefits the Warriors. I'm sure they and nobody wants to see this, but it, it, it is a tough break, no pun intended, for the Sacramento Kings. It's just fitting for the NBA playoffs. I mean, I just cannot get over it. Shaking my head every single time. And as we talked about, Chris, over and over, it's the stars that are getting hurt. It ain't like, it is. you know what I mean, like a, the third or fourth player or uh, the sixth man. It's the stars. De'Aaron Fox was a, has been a star. My God. He's been great this year. Yep. Absolutely yep. great. And then for that to happen, it's just a blow. It doesn't mean that it's all over and, he, like you say, he can't play through it or whatever. But it's a blow, and, and it's just unfortunate. It's, you just want to see the teams at full strength. And then the best team, Chris, that wins, they win. Right. It, it, it is, and, and it's, it's, it's interesting, Rob, or ironic that this is happening during the age of load management. Because we've talked about it. You've seen injuries in the past. You know, uh, even the, the Warriors' first championship, Rob, Kobe, and I'm not Kobe, Kyrie, and it's hurt. Or that maybe, who knows, maybe that series might have gone differently. Of course, Kevin Durant uh, in 2019 doesn't play for the Warriors. A lot of people feel like they would have won it the championship. It wasn't just Kyrie, wasn't Toronto. Love her too, right? Love, yes, Kyrie and Love. And Love, right. I mean, I'm um, just saying. like. Nah, so, I'm yeah, not... this, this is not new, but Rob, I, and these are injuries that could, these aren't, these are just injuries. They aren't wear and tear injuries. They're injuries from, you know, I mean, Giannis and Ja went airborne and it wasn't dirty plays, but essentially were undercut, not in a dirty way, but guys trying to take a charge and they landed awkwardly. Giannis on his back, Ja on his fingers. Uh, And then this one with De'Aaron Fox. Rob, the interesting thing and, and really even makes it sadder, that if you look at the play it happened on, it was about four and a half minutes left in the game. And the play had stopped. Like there had been a call or something, foul call or something. And De'Aaron just kind of threw it up, you know, kind of went up with like a little layup with his hand. And and Looney kind of reached out and grabbed it. It was nobody's fault, but it was an injury that happened even, you know, after play it kind of right stopped right away. But um, bro, after that though, De'Aaron Fox still balled. Uh, he, of course, hit the three-pointer that pulled them within a point of the Golden State Warriors. So we'll see. I, I thought Golden State was going to win this series anyway. Um, of course, I still think they will. But what they, they, what, they what have more not been a good road. Or they haven't been as convincing to you, though? Even with the two wins. No, I mean, home, I thought they would. I didn't think they'd have this much trouble. But, okay. um, yeah, but they, you know, the Kings have played – been better than I expected. Right. Uh, it's and about the Warriors winning. Have been good it's a, though. It's, it's about yeah, winning, so but but it is definitely. Yeah. It ain't like overwhelming. Like oh, they they can't hang with the the Kings can't. No, hang with I mean the, Warriors, it, look, right. the, the Kings were the third seed. 
you know, the Kings had the better regular season. The Kings are going to have, I think, two players on the all-NBA teams. The Warriors are, will only have one, Steph. The, the Kings will have De'Aaron Fox and DeMontis Sabonis, possibly. They were on mine. Fox second team, Sabonis third. So, you know, I mean, I think the youth, Rob, and the experience versus the inexperience is what would make it feel like an upset, right? But And the fact that Steph's the best player on the floor. But, um, you know, the Kings certainly have the resume for this season. But I do think, um, you know, the Warriors will take care of business, but they haven't been good on the road. Rob, especially in light of this news, the Warriors, they, they need to go get game five. It's not over if they don't, but they need to go get game five. They got to win once in Sacramento. And you, you know, De'Aaron, De as time goes on, he's probably just going to get better, more used to the, you know, right. finger no, no, being no. You got to strike when the, when the stuff. iron's yep. hot. Right? There's no yep. doubt about it. Like, like, if they lose this game with him, you know, being banged up. Yeah, it's not a good sign. Not a good sign. Like I said, the series won't be over. You know how bad they are on the road. You might chalk it up to that. But they still they got to win one in Sacramento. That's just the bottom it line. Might as well be game <laughs> five if you're there, right. right? Right. Right. Absolutely. Um, that game yesterday, Rob, I thought about you. Why did you think about me, Chris? <laughs> Why would that be? You're enjoying your basketball. Why would enjoying you allow me to? It. Oh. It, why would you allow me to enter your thoughts uh, of just a regular That's basketball? That's what I'm trying game. to figure out. No. Yes. Uh, first of all, Steph Curry was phenomenal. I mean, he was. I I actually I feel like he's getting better. I mean, some of the shots he is hitting are just incredible. And uh, he was doing that again yesterday, Rob. 32 points, big three after big three after big three, going to the bucket, finishing layups, George Gervin style with the big, you know, finger rolls. And, I mean, really just had a phenomenal game. And then nearly had, Rob, I... I don't know what, I mean, obviously the, the thought that I'm sure went through everyone's mind was Chris Weber. And, and shout out to C. Webb. Unfortunately to Chris Weber because right. uh, it's, it's always going to be. Of, right? right? Right. You don't even of have to say what it was. done. Yep. I mean, he had a great NBA career. I don't know if he'll ever get in the Hall of Fame or not, but he had a great NBA career. Had, a, you know, a great college career, even though they didn't win a championship. They never even won the is Big iconic. Ten, which is ridiculous, Chris. I, I, what was it, that? They never even won the Big Ten. Like, no, that, that's, no, but they that but was you always. Know, the most, I mean, they, they, no, they changed college basketball, right. but it's shocking that those guys. I mean, and the careers that they went on to have in the NBA, they should have won a championship I, I, or at least a Big Ten title. Can we say that? Okay. They got what they got the two championships and lost them both. But uh, but anyway, he's known for that failed timeout call when he called a timeout and there was none in the NCAA championship game and last night the 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 Warriors are in control up five 40 some odd seconds left and Steph calls a timeout and the in, funny thing Rob was he said he thought it was the smartest play <laughs> you could make like he said I thought it was such a smart play because he was trapped and he had nowhere to go so instead of Trying to make a play and right, turn it over, the he ball, called right, the timeout. Right. Yeah, and he looks over at the bench, thinking he made a great play, and they're all like shaking their heads, and they had used up their timeout on that challenge, which you know probably threw him off. And then Rob, so that's a technical. They hit the Malik Monk makes the technical free throw. Then De'Aaron Fox hits the three, and all of a sudden, with about twenty. Six, 27, 28 seconds left, it is a one-point game. Now, this is as the insult to the injury for Steph. You could have dribbled it out, right, or, or at least used up most of the clock, not all of it. And instead, he drives, gets a good look from but he about didn't 15, make it. 14, 15 feet, misses. The interesting thing, Rob, is even if you make that, though, 
they all they need is a three to tie. No, like I you're know, only but, up three. But, you're not up four. Right, but the difference too is like uh, a and two a beats you. Left. You know what I mean? A two beats you. Like you don't need. No, but I mean that, for him. If no, no, he no. makes that shot. I get that, but you don't lose, though. You don't lose. You no, can't no, lose on the no. last play. Right. That, you can't lose, but you could. You they could, could tie you, but you can get right. beat, Chris, because of it, because they only need a two. Now, Harrison Barnes had an open three. He missed it. Right? Yeah. He missed it. Yeah. I he, mean, uh, that, that, and that's what. So they come down and they get a. Oh, they, they double De'Aaron Fox. He, he, they, they, he passes Harrison Barnes. And he misses a three. It wasn't. It wasn't a bad miss. I mean, it, no, it was no. Close. And it, but it, but it, but it was an open look, Chris. If he knocks that yeah. down, we talking something different. And then you would go back and look at Steph Curry and the meltdown at the end of that game and be like, wow. I mean, he was saved because they didn't. He left the door open for the Warrior for the Kings to steal that game, and it didn't happen. So you know, you can kind of talk about it now, and and you know, and and they won. Well, it would have so been can, horrible. It would, it would have been, been like it would have been like Chris Paul. Remember that meltdown against Oklahoma City? Yep, when he was with the Clippers, and it would have been like Isaiah Thomas throwing that pass, you know, in eight, what eighty seven, and yep. Larry Bird I, stealing it in the I, Eastern. Chris, Conference I was fight. watching that game live. I still remember. Uh, I was that. too. Well, you well, were you, there. No, no, no. Oh, I, I wasn't was, there. I was, yeah, I was watching it live. I was right I now. was an NBA reporter, but I wasn't covering that series in eighty seven. And I remember what you know, just watching the game and just couldn't believe it. No, like, it was, all, it all was the bad. mechanisms were bad. Like I think he was inbounding. Uh, you know, Chris, you know this. You play basketball. You're supposed to step towards the pass, and I can't. Was he passing to Lambeer? Uh, I can't even. I feel but, but, like but, it was but, Lambeer, but I'm but not he was positive. he didn't come to the ball. Do you know what I mean? Right. Like, you, you, aren't you supposed to come to the ball as as the pass is coming? And right. whatever it was. And didn't they throw it towards his own basket? Yes, basket that was the other there. one, Chris. That, yep. that was the other one. Like, all of the things you aren't supposed to do, Isaiah did. And we know he's a smart and great basketball player. Right. But that night, it cost his team dearly. No doubt. And he, you know, fortunately for him, um, you know, he went on to win two championships, reach three finals. So right. he kind of put right. it in the background, right? This for Steph would have, I mean, obviously he's already won four championships, two MVPs, so it wouldn't have defined his career, but it probably ends this dynasty. I and agree. And it becomes, like today, It's a. it would be a huge story today. And then Because they would be on the brink. Little, if they would be on the up. brink, Chris. Yeah, and it, the reason it would probably is, be over. Right. We won. It would be, it would and they were on the brink because Steph gave up what looked like an insurmountable lead up right. five with the ball, like right. right at home. Right. I was saying Steph taketh, like I thought when I thought it might happen, it was like Steph taketh and Steph giveth away. Because he was the re. I mean, he was, I, I couldn't believe some of the shots he was making. It and is amazing, though. Hole, how, you weren't you the know. only one. You don't know how many people, whenever Steph, does anything or misses a shot, Chris? Well, because you're no, you're got. you're a Steph hater, like Tom. I'm not Brady, a hater. I'm a like, reporter. You know, yeah, I'm not a right, hater. Whatever. <laughs>